Hey, this is Johnny here. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube platform. Um, I guess this is uh, vlog style video number two. Um, so what I've done this time, I just put together, you know, a whole bunch of clips from places that I've been and things that I've done for the last week, you know, showing my lifestyle, the way I work, uh, people I met. And um, yeah, and by the way, I've been having fun with this fucker. It's so practical, you know, stuff some, some uh, camera gear and, and you know, Get around with this guy and uh yeah so i'll be using that and um i also have a couple of topics by the way that i wanted to talk about some things i've noticed for the last two weeks if you're new to my channel um what content you can expect from me is um I'm the kind of guy that motivates people into creating their own success, to detach from society's crappy lower norms, uh, and to help out those that can't stand the 9-5 hustle anymore, uh, can't fit into the shitty school system, but still have a dream, have talents and skills. They're beautiful people, but they don't know how to move on and create their own success. I would be really happy if you clicked subscribe to help me build this pretty fresh channel and uh, like whatever you like and um, I'll see you around. Stay well. So I came to this place um, not so far from home. Uh, I think it's an old farm. Um, now it's run like a, a cafe and uh, a place where you can, you know, buy greens and vegetables and some fruits and all that. So it's a, it's a, yeah, it's really beautiful place around here. So sometimes I just go out here to do some writing, working. Like today, I just used my iPad to to get an overview of my work and what to do these days. Um, in my previous video that I put out, you know, kind of my first vlog type video this year, I talked about the changes. I was in the forest and I talked about changes, and that's still occurring. It's still uh, it's going to be changes the whole year, the whole. 2018 is going to be um, for some people a lot of dramatic changes uh, but it, it is positive uh, I just want to to mention a few things about that again because I'm still observing the changes around me and in me but it's it's been different the last weeks it's been lighter and better and uh, one of the things that I have been noticing myself and have experiencing experiencing since the last film that I put out is that people are, people are coming and going in my life and uh, suddenly people are moving away um, suddenly I meet someone and that I haven't seen in a long time and people are changing it's like um, I, I meet someone that I thought I knew and there's something totally different about them I think that's some of the things that you can experience more this year expect changes unless you're trying to stick with the old and hold on to the old it's a positive thing. I just want to mention that because I noticed that people are coming and going and people are changing. So that's part of the experience of the change this year.
So one of the topics that I wanted to talk about is because we are in a time of change now everything is accelerating uh, people are having surprising you know experiences coming and going you know it's like waking up to a new reality sometimes you know one day something is totally changed for you but to help out for yourself to to have this transition and have these changes be more pleasant and if you really want change um, there are a few things that you can do to make sure that uh, you know things feels better and you actually have the reality that you want so if you're trying to make changes and you want your reality to shift everything starts with a thought so when you wake up every day you have your you know recurring common flow of thoughts that makes you do certain things and you decide every day um, what you're supposed to wear uh, you know what you eat uh, where you're going what kind of people you hang out with so if you want change you can't you can't keep repeating old patterns so one thing I wanted to mention that I find pretty important is what kind of what kind of reality do you wrap yourself in when you go out every day because if you want to see change in your reality, you have to create that. So what kind of reality do you wrap yourself in? Is it scary? Is it negative? Is it stressful? Is it, um, you know, dark and mysterious? What kind of re reality do you wrap yourself in when you wake up every day and you go out into the world to go to school and go to work or whatever you do? Or maybe you don't do anything and you don't know what you want to do with your life. I would say that one of the things that you should start to be more mindful about is to consider the the current reality that you see. What comes in through your eyes is created by you. Because you decide where you want to go every day. And that's why I like to attract, you know, peaceful, motivating, uh, beautiful places that I can sit down and work or meet people or just relax and you know like here now I just drove out to uh, kind of a farm field not so far from home um, and I just decided to you know to stop here for a while to just shoot this clip and it's um, it's a warm summer day I mean the beautiful it's a beautiful place it's uh, there's a beautiful bird songs surrounding me and uh, everything is green Everything is peaceful, so so that's something you can do too. I would suggest that you gradually start to change the reality that you see when you go out of your house every day and go to places that you find either motivating, uh, relaxing, de-stressing, and uh, you know create kind of a space where which will nurture 
the and accelerate the reality that you want to see. So, packing up some uh, some of my stuff, some of my gear today to um, head out to an old train station. Along the way, I'm picking up um, a family member of mine, a young friend called Robin. So we get to meet him. Just do some B rolls. Uh, I wanted to check out the area, consider that as a location for later, and also maybe you know show him some of the methods and techniques that I work with film. Maybe have him help me help me out which would be awesome. So let's hit the road. Another important thing that I wanted to um, to just mention is that when I talk to people, when I help them or, or have coaching clients or or you know advise people um, on you know subtle changes they can make in their lives, sometimes I ask them what kind of other human minds and energies do you allow into your life? What kind of people do you hang out with? Um, most people just hang out with their common friends as they usually do, uh, even family and um, partners, co-workers, school friends, whatever. What kind of people, what kind of other minds do you allow to mingle in your reality and affect your motivation, your thoughts, your ideas, um, your progress in life? your uh, personal growth and spiritual growth. I've seen this so many times that people hang out with the wrong people. And um, the best advice I can give is that you should spend more time with people matching your own energy, your tr inner truth, your, your core being, the vibration that you are. Vibration is just uh, kind of a word for, for energy, for the tuning that you are. So you should spend more time hanging out with, hanging out with the right people uh, or people that have come further than you have, and maybe maybe live the reality that you want. So that could be, you know, students. It could be um, mentors. It could be uh, business partners. Whatever, what kind of life you have. Maybe you're not doing anything. You're trying to figure life out. Family can sometimes be um, the worst enemies. I've seen that so many times. One of my most important individuals, persons in my life for the last years that disappeared 
for me. Um, she had an issue with that. Family was the worst, kind of her worst enemy. But she couldn't. She didn't decide to go, you know, to ditch that to to leave the old, to leave that negative space. So she got infected by that, and uh, it kind of took over her mind in a way. And uh, she started to adapt and copy and become that. And she's, you know, all the potential that I, that I saw in her uh, basically just died out, and she's not living her true self right now. So family the closest friends that you think may be the closest friends may, can sometimes be the most important people to switch out to um, start to mingle with something new to motivating people people that support your dreams and values um, and goals in life and uh, in, you know in my concept I talk about self mastery where we expand our minds to understand a lot more than the common norms and um, knowledge of society and uh, this is not this is not common so you can't stick with the common you can't stick with the norms because that won't you know it, it won't accelerate your growth so if you want to if you're in my tribe in a way if you follow what I do that's one of the uh, hardest things you can experience that's to stick with uh, old friends old family members um, because they will just hold you back and will it keep you leveled to most other people around you? People do what they're used to do, right? So it's one of the most important thing, things that you have to um, or should consider to change in your life to be able to move on and accelerate your, your growth. Have you had any experience like that? You find it hard? Leave a comment below in this video. It would be really interesting to hear some, someone's experience about that. It can be the hardest things in life to to make changes with. To it's to leave the old. If it's a place you live, or if it's common friends or family, uh, it can be really hard to change that. So I'm Johnny and I'm a motivator and mentor for people who want to disconnect from the society's lower norms and hack your own success in life, upgrade your body, mind and spirit and detach from the norms. So I'm trying to bring you some engaging and motivating content and some tips along the way. So I would be happy if you subscribe to the channel. Um, I just started this channel last year i um, been really slow with growing it because I haven't spent full time on this since I had a lot of stuff going on um, and like I've said before I've been doing film production for years but I never put things out on YouTube so I would be really happy to have you join my channel and get notified when I put out new films so have a safe week start to sketch out your dreams if you have any questions or you know comments uh, feel free to add it to this video uh, below in the comments field. If you want to ask some questions, you can do that too, and I will bring it on to the to one of the next videos. Um, besides that, stay strong and, and powerful and, and motivated. Be well.